Is that better? There it is. We good? We've got sound. Yay! Southern Iowa, Illinois. Amy says, hi, Sarah from Buffalo. Hi, Amy. Valerie. I did have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you. Judy Smith got here just in time. Margaret's watching. 15 degrees here in the Twin Cities. Where's the Twin? What is that? Twin Cities? Twin Cities. I don't want to say the wrong state. <laughs> Keenan's like, I'm not even going to guess. Uh, we got Florida. Kentucky. Sue's watching. Hello, Sue. Patsy's watching. Uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Minnesota? Minneapolis, Minnesota? Twin Cities. Twin Cities. Southern Carolina, Oregon, Colorado Springs. It's cold here too. Sheffield, UK. Yeah, Sheffield, thank you for it, being here. It is very cold today. It's so cold. Last night it was like, so you know how on the weather app it will say like 18 but feels like? <laughs> yes. So it said last night it was like 17 degrees, feels like four. Uh, because of that wind cold. chill. It was so cold last night. Dakota's watching, hi Dakota. Uh, what are we painting, Sarah? We are painting this cute little sheet for our Let's Make Art Matter postcard right here. Aww. Minnesota. People are guessing what Twin City. They're like Twin City, Washington. Oh. Minnesota, Minneapolis. Oh, yeah, I, South I Lake know. Tahoe. My husband's from Placerville. That's right next to it. Hello. What? Ohio. Omaha. Kentucky. Kentucky, Washington. New Hampshire. New Hampshire, Prince Edward Island. Never, never heard of that. Happy New Year from Essex, England. England, thanks, thanks for tuning in. I'm so glad you're here. Kansas City, that's not far from us. I see an edgy coffee cup. Yes, I posted this yesterday. I got my live on the edge <laughs> cup. It's now gonna be part of my table here. And I got my hug dealer sweatshirt because we're about to make some art love. Art love. <laughs> Descent. That got a little dicey there. We got Wisconsin, Alabama, Cleveland, Ohio, Arkansas, Kentucky, Texas. Texas. On Amtrak going to Boston. That's cool. Seattle, Washington. Oh, that is cool. Amtrak going to Boston. Okay. While people are tuning in, I'm just gonna give you guys some information about what the heck is going on. So if you are new to Let's Make Art or um, you're still not entirely sure how we do things, um, every month we do a postcard in the subscription boxes. We pick a, fam a different family or a different individual who maybe just needs some appreciation or some love or just some you know, good, goodness sent their way. So in the subscription box, if you subscribe, there will be a little informational postcard about who we're sending it to. And there will be a little postcard that's pre-stamped and pre-addressed. So we paint it together and then you just drop it in the mail and then they get these cards of love. And um, it's called Let's Make Art Matter. It is my absolute favorite part of this box. We don't really um, advertise this part because um, it's special and I want to keep it um, sincere and I want to keep it, you know, don't sign up for this box to do this, sign up, you know, just, just do this because it's a good thing to do. So um, literally my favorite part and it's great because it's just a, it, it's a great way, great activity that you can do um, to serve somebody you don't really know. Um, it's also great to do with your family and teach kids about um, service and kindness and showing love to maybe people who are different from you or people who you don't really know. So I think it's really important. And um, I would just really thank you guys for doing this and painting this with us. And even if you don't have the subscription box, you can absolutely still participate. We sell postcards on our website, or you can even just cut up your watercolor paper that comes in kits or whatever you have and turn that into a postcard. Just address one side, stamp it, and send it in the mail. That would work. So easy. So easy. You guys can do it. Okay. So this month we are painting a sheep for Tom and Megan. Tom and Megan, um, they're just this wonderful family and they um, have a little baby, Samuel. 
he was born yesterday and um, that's what I that's what I read somebody messaged me that he was born yesterday but he um, was born with a couple conditions that are going to make it very hard for him to uh, to live and so this has to be uh, really hard for them and so and they actually have associated the sheep with baby Samuel it's um, Im an image that they've associated with him and they have other kids and so that's kind of what they've done for baby Samuel and so I thought it would be great if we painted them a sheep to send to them and remind them of their wonderful baby boy Samuel um, and just a reminder you do not have to paint what we paint some of you have already sent them postcards and they've sent me messages saying that it's been really helpful and comforting and they really appreciate it. So don't feel like you have to follow along with me. You can do whatever you want. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath again. <laughs> oh, also I just wanna say, I, I know on a post a couple of days ago I said I would do it at 7.15 tonight. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I just keep on confusing dates and times. I don't make it easy for you guys, but I appreciate you still being here and painting with me, even though I gave you like two hours notice this morning. So <laughs> you guys are awesome and I really appreciate you. And um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say before we get started. I think, I think we're good. Okay, so how the postcards work is if they're in the subscription box, we pretty much just use whatever colors are left from left over from our month of painting. Or if you have extra colors at home, you can use whatever you want. Don't feel like you have to follow me. But I'm going to use, so I'm using some of the December colors. Those are black, I'm going to use a blue, I'm going to use a yellow and a red. Um, but again, use whatever colors you have. And uh, we are going to freehand a sheep and that might sound scary to you but you guys can do it we're doing a pretty basic shape here and whenever you're looking at something to draw or to paint the easiest way to do it to tackle it is just to break it down into shapes and then like basic shapes like circles triangles rectangles that kind of thing and then go from there so we are going to start painting Sweet. we're ready okay so um, if you want, you are totally free to kind of sketch this out on your postcard before you start painting. Uh, if you want to go straight into painting, you're totally welcome to. I kind of do that because I live on the edge oh, here. There it is. <laughs> but whatever makes you feel more comfortable, everybody has different preferences of how they like to approach things. So, but basically for this sheep, it's just a few basic shapes that we're gonna break down. Now, when we do the head, for the head, it's basically going to be like um, a triangle, but with a rounded top, so kind of like a candy corn. Delicious. Right? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> so, you're gonna start with the head, and this one I kind of kept narrow. And remember, if you're kind of like, I'm doing this with a pencil, very lightly outlining it, it's not, anything too hard because watercolor is transparent so those pencil lines will show through so here's my head we have little ears like here okay and then the front of the body is really just kind of like a circle shape that doesn't connect all the way because the head gets in there so there's the front of the body okay here is the back of the pot body it's another circle that doesn't connect all the way. And remember, we're just breaking this sheep down into basic shapes. Nothing too complicated so far. We got a, we got a candy corn triangle and two circles. And then just little legs. Okay? This is really all you need to get started. And again, if you don't want to draw this on your postcard, that's fine. You can just start painting. So. I have my basic shape down for my shape, for my sheep, sorry, <laughs> and I'm going to grab black and I'm going to mix a little bit of blue in there because I like having a little bit of other colors in with my black, gives it a little bit of color depth. So I'm going to start filling this in and I like to do kind of sketch brush strokes when I'm doing this is more of a loose painting it's kind of maybe more of an illustration and so I just kind of like to keep it loose 
don't don't stress yourself out by having to do everything so perfectly. You don't. It's okay to see some breast strokes. It's okay to see some movement. So don't stress yourself out with this one. And we are going to start filling it in just at the top here. Now I left like a little white mark at the top of my head of the sheep. You don't have to do that. You can fill that in if you want. Um, but it's just kind of like so, and then you're gonna do little ears, kind of coming off the side, like that. And there's a hat, that's all you need for the head. The great thing about art is you can have it be as basic or as detailed as you want, but just with these shapes, people are gonna be like, oh, that's totally a sheep. Even though it literally has no face, you guys can tell what it is. Um, I'm not gonna add features to the sheep because I actually really like this loose style. And um, this is also really tiny and it's so hard to paint details tiny. So don't stress yourself out. If you don't, if you don't mind it not having a face and just leave it blank like I'm gonna do. Okay. <laughs> Susan just said, don't be bashful. <laughs> Susan, that was so good. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, now I'm going to do the, the wool part of the sheep here. So I'm gonna mix a couple different colors for this. I'm gonna grab some yellow, a little bit of black. Now when you mix kind of black and yellow together, it turns kind of green. And if you don't want green, then you're gonna use its complement color, which is red, and mix that into the pile. And that's gonna turn it kind of a brownish color. Now you might think, well, sheep are really white. They don't have colors within their fur, but they actually do. It's how the light and the shadow plays off of the fur. That's what we're painting here. So it's gonna be like this grayish, brownish color. You might have strong hints of blues or yellows or red places. I say embrace those. They make it more interesting. If you look at my example here, you can tell that there's strong green here. There's red, purple here. I don't know, I think it makes it kind of cool. So don't stress about it. I'm gonna get this color and then along the bottom part of the shape I made, I'm gonna start putting in the color and I'm gonna be doing kind of a circle motion because they're, they're fluffy, right? They have that, curly. they're curly, they have that curly hair. So it's not gonna be a perfect uh, circle because their fur is gonna have these little you know things around it. So I'm gonna start putting those in and then I'm gonna rinse my brush and spread out that color to the top. I kind of want the dark, dark part to be more towards the bottom of the fur. Fur? What, is that the right word? I don't have my Google. <laughs> <I can't answer laughs> that is that what it would be? <laughs> sure. Okay. So here's that. I'm kind of leaving a white space in between the head and the wool. Would that be a better word than I fur? Like wool. Okay, wool. Um, because I don't want that black blue of the head to bleed into the wool. Debbie, Rita, they all say wool. Fleece, Carrie says fleece, okay. And then I'm gonna continue on with the back part. I'm gonna do color on the bottom first and then just using water, I'm gonna fill in the top. So basically in the end, it's gonna kinda of look like a rectangle with rounded edges. And keep kinda of doing this round motion. Um, it's gonna give it that kind of fluffy feel. Just like that. Perfect, and then we're gonna add the legs. Now, for the legs, be careful, sheep's legs are shorter than you think. When I, the first time I painted a sheep, which was this morning, I did the legs really long and it looked kind of like a deer. So, <laughs> so when you do the legs, you're gonna grab your black and it's always helpful to sketch them out before a little bit so you kind of know. But start off shorter than you might think and you can always make them longer. So, I'm gonna kind of start doing my legs here. 
Now, if the body is still wet, that black might bleed into it. That is okay. It's, I think it gives it a kind of cool feel. And then I'm gonna kind of round the bottom of the feet here because they have hooves. So they kind of like round out. And wool does come naturally in various colors. That's right, Candace. So it's okay if you have hints of different colors in your, in your fur here. So there are my legs. I'm gonna do the back legs here. And again, this is a very loose painting. So don't get mad if you're like, that leg is shorter than the other or thicker. It doesn't matter, you guys. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so I did my legs. I'm gonna work on my fur a little bit more because I kind of want some color back in there. So I'm gonna actually use kind of a, a mixture of the blue black to do kind of a shadow at the bottom of my sheep. Now the reason why there would be a shadow on the underneath part of the wool is because the body is three-dimensional, it's rounded, so it's coming out at us and then it's turning away from us and going underneath the sheep. So that's why it's kind of a little bit more shadowed underneath here because that light's hitting it differently than it is the other parts. Now if you kind of want that curly texture, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go through and just start doing a little bit of markings. They're kind of like little like do, 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 kind of all through. <laughs> I don't know if you guys got that. Keenan, can you make that sound for me? Do, 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 do. Thank you. You're just gonna do some do, do, do's around it. Give it some curl, some shape. And then you can go along the edge of the wool itself and do kind of these swirly marks to give it some texture on the edge. So here, I feel pretty good about that. Now if you wanna do drops of different colors, kind of throughout here, feel free to. This is your sheep. You can make it rainbow if you want. You can do whatever your heart desires. And then I'm gonna give myself just this sheep, just a little bit of ground to stand on. Amanda commented, she says, you mean ew, 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 not do, do, do. Oh, Get me. it? Get it? No, because it, cause it, ew. Isn't that like a female sheep? I like have a no idea. ew? I don't know anything E-W-E? About sheep. <laughs> Uh, Amanda, I got your joke. Okay, I got it. Or maybe it's a type of sheep. Google that, Keenan. Yes, ma'am. In the meantime. It must be something because on YouTube they said Happy Ew Year. <laughs> yes, Happy Ew Year. Okay, I'm going to put in my ground. And when I put in my ground, I'm really just going to use a brush that is damp with water. I'm going to pick up some clean water, hit it off the side, and then using the, a girl sheep, it is a girl sheep. It is, and it's pronounced you. You, so it wouldn't be you, it would be. Y-O-O. You, you, you. You, you, you. <laughs> that was good. Uh, oh, they're telling me how to pronounce it. Thank you, you guys, sorry. Sorry I said you. <laughs> okay, I'm taking my wet brush. And to put in the ground, I'm just actually gonna grab the color that I use for the legs, and I'm just gonna do some horizontal brush strokes across here. Now, you might be tempted to only put a ground in like one single line where, that, where those feet meet the ground like this. However, ground continues behind the sheep. We don't want it to seem like it's on a hill, we want it to seem like it's just standing in space. So, you're just gonna do some horizontal lines and then have it go behind the feet also. And that's gonna make it appear like it's standing in a three-dimensional space and not just flat, two-dimensional. And if you wanna go back in and darken any areas, feel free to kinda of just be aware of what's wet. If you wanna add a background, feel free to put color in on the background, feel free to put words. This is your postcard, this is your painting, so you can do whatever it is you want. And that's it for our sheep. That's, 
that's all it is. Um, now, two things I want to say, which is, this might seem really scary to you, but I literally, and I want to show you guys something. Every time you paint, it's going to look different. And this morning I woke up early because I'm like, I'm teaching people how to paint a sheep today and I've never painted one in my life. And so I had to practice. So here are all the sheep that you guys don't see behind. So here was like a mom and a baby. Here's another one that I tried doing laying down. Here's one standing, going the different way. This was the start of one. There's another mom baby. Here was one front facing. Here is another one. Here's another one. Here's a few more. This was me breaking it down into shapes. This is just showing you that sometimes we look at art and we think people are just talented that they can do that first try and that's it and I don't have that talent. It's not true. Don't believe that. We all practice. We all figure it out. The more you do it, the better you will get. So just keep on trying. And remember, this is just this is just for fun. This is just something kind to do. So these people will appreciate it no matter what it looks like. Um, so I really hope you do it. And also this idea came um, because um, ma let's make art matter postcard happen because there were some family friends of mine who were going through a really hard time and I didn't know what to say to them because when people are experiencing hardships, you want them to know that you love them and you're there for them, but you don't want to say the wrong thing, and which sometimes stops us from saying anything at all. And so what I would do is I would paint them something and it was just my way of showing that I'm thinking about you and I love you and I didn't really have to say anything. So if you wanna write something on the back, you are more than welcome to. Just remember to be kind and respectful and thoughtful. Um, these are people who are willing to share their story with us so I hope you respect that. Um, but if you don't feel like writing anything, that's okay too. You can just say, paint this, thinking of you, love you. You don't have to do anything more than that. So just do whatever you're comfortable with and um, remember to just be kind to each other because it's hard and we don't make it easy on each other sometimes. So um, I really hope that Tom and Megan appreciate this and thank you so much for doing this with me and I am crying. <laughs> but um, I think it's really great that you guys take the time to do this for other people. And um, I love you guys, I think you're awesome. And Tom and Megan, I can't imagine how hard things must be, but we have lots of people all over the country and all over the world watching and painting this and thinking about you. So we love you and that's it. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so um, this video, even if you couldn't tune in live, we'll keep this up. So if you wanna do this at a later time, you can totally watch this later. And uh, that's it, so you guys are great. Okay, bye.